Hi everybody, it's Halloween and I am here going to do one of my favorite Halloween looks. Um, just a little fun. Um, it's a classic look. <laughs> How classic is it? Well, it's older than I am. <laughs> so, um, first off, uh, take off the glasses. Kind of have to because I can't make makeup around them. And start off with a little bit of what's left of the uh, Truffle Therapy from Skin Co that I got from my first Ipsy bag. Yeah, I say a little bit. My skin's kind of going to completely absorb all of this. Now I'm trying to remember where the camera is and not look at the monitor. <laughs> um, next on, we're going to do Murad. Uh, Hydrodynamic Ultra Moisturizer, which is a lovely product. I love it. <sighs> it's not my favorite, favorite go-to Holy Grail moisturizer, but it's a lovely moisturizer. Now, I'm going to do a full review after 30 days on the um, Alpha Hydroxy, Beta Hydroxy face scrub that I got from Ipsy. Uh, later on, probably around uh, Thanksgiving. That might be a holy grail item. Okay, so next on, Unicorn Glow Primer. Now one of the reasons that I'm using a primer with this is because it actually causes the oh, uh, color changing uh, base foundation that I use to not be as highly pigmented or blend as easily into my face color, which is kind of what we need. Now, I've been doing this look for over 12 years on myself, on other people. And uh, one of the things that we used to do, OG style, is get the lightest commercially available foundation. Okay, so yeah, the TLM color changing foundation from China. Come on. Oh, don't tell me I'm running out of this. I love this stuff. There we go. And then take Halloween Clown White. Okay, so you want to disappear and find a stubble brush. And Halloween Clown White, mix those together. Because unfortunately, if you use just white, you can't really contour to get your face shape correct. And contouring is very important for this look because you want to look more like 20 something Tim Curry than yourself. Yes, I'm kind of being a little obtuse about what I'm doing just because. So, we got the base down. Now I want to do some contouring. And I'm going to take um, another Ipsy find. Uh, it, love it. It is like almost a holy grail item. Um, and they sent me tan, which is great for contouring, is to say I'm a pale white girl. And contouring brush. I have a fairly square jaw and I make my jaw much square for this. Because, like I said, male, Tim Curry.
need just a touch more. I need to carve out my nose a little bit. I want to make this brow ridge a little deeper. Go in again with an IT product. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which I am running out of. Clean off the brush in my hand. So, highlight the nose real quick. Above the eyebrows. Now I can go into the eyebrows because I want them to kind of disappear in the will once I'm done. Am I now highlighting the forehead this high? Come on, nail. This is a type of drag makeup. Now I get my stipple brush out again. And oh, that's it. Stipple! Where did I put oh I put you over here? <laughs> and highlighter down into the shadow, shadow up into the highlighter. Grab the clean end of a buffer sponge and kind of blend it all in. Take some of this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder and just kind of set all of that. This is a lovely piece from Boxycharm. I rather enjoy it. I've been having fun with it lately. Went out the other day with just this and the primer that came from Boxycharm. It was amazing. Okay. And again, you know, I love Wayne Goss 
And Wayne Goss has one of my favorite sayings. It's just makeup. It'll wash away. So to start off with, I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. And I am going to mark off these eyebrows. That's pretty much all you need to do for the eyebrow because everything else is going to be covered up with the makeup. You want to make sure, of course, that it is lined up properly. <sighs> Next, I'm going to go into the Nomad Berlin Underground and starting with the wall, I'm going to put down a base of this really nice gray shade and that is going to go all the way up into my eyebrows. Some of you may have already figured out what I'm doing. Some of you may be going to your local theater tonight, 8 p.m., midnight, to see a very special showing of this movie. I was very lucky in my 20s to be able to play this character on Halloween. Say, so it was the most fun I ever had doing this show. I've played him several times since over the last 20 years. But you never forget your first time. You really, really don't. And I'm beginning to sound like Bob Ross. Okay. So I've got a nice base there. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into Techno. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back into Klubnacht. Klubnacht. I don't speak German. I'm actually going to do this in a way that uh, is good for my face. And not necessarily screen accurate, but fun nonetheless. This actually highlights where my orbital socket is, as opposed to where the crease in my eye is, because I have hooded eyes. Mostly because I've been extremely overweight and I'm over 40. Time to grab a clean-ish brush. 
Now we're going to go into techno. And blend that into the black. Next, have a little bit of fun. I gotta find that eyeliner again. Here we go. And starting from here. Not quite even, but that's okay. Now, drag queen tip, or drag king rather. Mascara. Put some of my real hair down into this. Too much, too much. that a little bit of a angle brush Usually you like wait with this. I've done it with my own hair. A lot of black hairspray and uh, curls, curlers. doing Smashbox, and we'll actually go in and carve out some of this contour again.
I want to make sure that there's some space up here that stays highlighted because you know, men happen to have a more prominent brow ridge than women do. And it would be very important to keep the face shape looking more masculine. A little oval spray in there, and it's <laughs> it's just makeup, it'll wash off. Back into the pencil. I am going to tight line my upper lids. And come in and just line the lash line. Jeffree Star. Damn you. Is I'm going to go in on the waterline with a white pencil. If I can find my white pencil, that is. There it is. It's just not working. It's just smudging everywhere. So, we're going to ignore that for now. And, let's see, where's my smudgy brush? Smudgy brush, smudgy brush. Nothing with smudgy brush. Smudgy brush. Going to go back into Nomad. And again with Wall. So we're doing I'll go in again with highlighter and and with the black brush that I've been using, here it is, here it is. I'm actually gonna go in a little bit on the eyebrow. Blend this. 
See what I'm doing? Sorry, I keep getting lost in the mirror. I am like completely blind without my glasses. Okay. Now back into the highlighter and Smashbox. Go under the eyes. Blend out that highlight. We did. Now I'm going to use the Henry and Hank. And just go in and do a little bit of Enough so you can notice. Nothing wild like what we do today. This is 70s glam, people. No wings. take my favorite blusher. I love Ofra. This is uh, Sweet Stuff, which is a perfect blusher for Dr. Frankenfurter. This is a Thera Cheeky End Brush. down a little bit. I know this is the theater makeup. It doesn't have to be totally toned down. <sighs> Again, into the black. Watch this, folks. I really do hate overdrawing my lips because I'm not very good at it. But <clears throat> then we'll go in with the Stilla and Rubino. Let that dry. And more eyeshadow. Yeah. So I am going to put a thin layer on my lashes.
and come in with the eyelash curler. Excuse me. I know you really aren't supposed to do this because you can end up pulling your lashes out, but if you do a really thin layer, it doesn't cause as much issue. And many, many years ago, I suffered an eyelash curler accident and my right eye, my eyelashes stick straight out. So. Careful what temperature you heat your eyelash curler to, people. Curry has these bags under his eyes that are just, you know, wild. But now to go from what we call floor show, sweet transvestite makeup, to or sweet transvestite makeup to floor show, there we go. I gotta say, dose of color. Oh. You can always add a little bit of this here, but yeah, I'm actually going to put this on with my finger. Oh, that's beautiful. Try the other one on the other side. <laughs> so, floor shall I? Sweet tree, sweet tea, I. Well, shall I? Sweet tea eye. There you go. And that, my dear friends, is Dr. Frankenford. How do you I? So you've met my little handyman. So, this is one of my favorite Halloween books because, well, you know, Halloween. <laughs> Dr. Frankenford or Tim Curry, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's something I've been doing since. Chef was a pop. Went to my first live showing in 1996. Oh my goodness, I'm all back. And um, pretty much been sold on it ever since. So this is the makeup. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. If you drink, don't drive. That's what Lyft and Uber are for.